What's this coming up? Is it chia seeds or something? Jellied eels. Oh, God, really? Yeah. Is it one of those things people feel obliged to say because it's traditional? <laughs> I don't think... Have I ever had one? Or am I talking bollocks here? The cameraman looks very bored. <laughs> Is it? Well, it's bollocks, yeah? <laughs> Next. Thank you very much. So, I, I mean, I know what these taste like. It's pretty pointless, but I have to grade it. Uh, We have God, Elite, Meh, or Ocock. Ocock. I think they taste of dog's farts. <laughs> I've never liked them. I mean, they don't... They, they just taste like they've gone wrong. No. No. Just say no, kids. <laughs> to <Next. toilet>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, it tells you a lot that somebody makes pork scratchings, which is another of those things that we're supposed to believe are brilliant and that we love because it's traditional and part of our heritage. So in the minds of the people who produce these, very, very important to our culture and our national identity and our sense of self-worth. And they call them Mr. Porky. They spent hours on that, didn't they? If you're from a sensible country that's not hamstrung by living in the Middle Ages, this is a pork scratching. It's essentially a scab from a pig that's been fried. And that's sort of what it tastes like. Oz Clark, my old mate from the days of wine shows, he loves these. Mm. That was quite a crunch. It's a good crunchy one. Um, I never have them. Um, I'll give them a high meh would taste much better with the beer. Mm. I mean, they're not unpleasant, but they're just, they're, they're a bit, I think, again, they're a bit like Morris dancing. They have too much baggage. They can sometimes be slightly hairy. <laughs> Next. What's this coming up? Is it chia seeds or something? This is jellied eels. Oh, God, really? Yeah. Which are a delicacy in East London pubs, uh, and I live in East London. Are they really, or is it one of those things people feel obliged to say because it's traditional? <laughs> I don't think, have I ever had one? Have you? No, I've not, despite living in East London. Um, you don't have to have all of it. I'm not going to. I think I must have had a jelly deal. Is it, I mean, see, you've never, you live in East London. Yeah. You've never had one. No. I can't, I'm not sure I know anybody who's ever had one. Initial thoughts? That's all right, you know. It's briny. That would taste good with that would taste good with a glass of crisp white wine. I'd recommend the Vermentino from my pub. It's very reasonably priced. What was the second tier below God? It was Elite. Elite. I, I'm going to go Elite. <whistles> really? So, yeah, a bit of a surprise result, but that's good. It tastes clean. It tastes. It's not fresh, I know, because it's jellied, but. Um, Yes, you can still amazing. take it away, but... Yeah, <laughs> I was going to take it away. Well, you haven't tried one yet. Why don't you try a bit? Uh, once we f stop filming, I will. <laughs> Do it now. Really? I'm going to say straight off. I mean, obviously, I've eaten pickled onions many times, uh, especially eaten at Christmas. Um, the, what is that? <laughs> I'm trying to only cut off a small amount so that I don't completely corrupt myself. But I think if you put a... Put this in your mouth, nice sharp pickled onion, pickled egg, pickled gherkin, and then take a swig of a proper brown beer. That is quite magic, underappreciated. God. Really? Yep. Got it, even without the brown ale. It was a bit much just by itself, but <laughs> mentally I'm putting the brown ale with it or the piece of cheese bit of brown some pickle, yeah. And those are, those are slightly sweet and not too, not too overpowering. Have you ever had one? Yes. You hesitate. <laughs> Have you been back to 1950s England to source these? That is a sausage roll. Well, I'm not gonna eat the whole bloody thing. <laughs> Thank you. So this is, is this from Greg's or something like that? Is it a? Shall I be, shall I be honest? Please do. Tesco. It's a Tesco sausage roll. Yeah. How long ago did you buy it? <laughs> it's quite soft. Um, <laughs> it's 
just meh. It's okay, it's, but it's, it's a bit stodgy. It's not, um, it's not modern. No, no, not modern enough. Thank you, thank you. Is that a pub classic? Is that pigs in blankets? Yes. And three have already been eaten. <laughs> How old are these? <laughs> I did have them first. <laughs> right. So you like these? I mean, I know what this tastes like. So I'm in the pub, I've got a pipe maybe or a gin and tonic. It's bad in so many ways. Because I mean, that sausage is very much a processed thing. Bacon, pretty, pretty greasy, very salty. But bloody nice, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's God. I think it is God. Yeah. Oh no. A mistake. Peanuts, food of the gods. Obviously, food of the pub gods, because you can't have a pub without peanuts of some sort. But these are dry roasted. In fact, I'm not even gonna eat one, I know. Those those are oh cock. They're like twiglers. They they taste of donkey breath. It's just it's not right. Dry roasting, no, no. <sighs> Spicy chili flavor peanuts. Here we go again, this is a bit like pimping beans. It's actually not possible. Baked beans are perfect. Whatever you do to them only diminishes them. Likewise peanuts, you put salt on them, ace. Chili, soy sauce. You know, don't stop trying to intellectualise the food of the peasants. Oh, quite good though, aren't they? <laughs> mm. Actually, those are bloody brilliant. Can we just edit that out that I just said? These are great. <laughs> mm, have you had these? Uh, no, I'm not actually. You should. Thank you. Now this is a Scotch egg, I'm, I'm assuming. It is. This is Scotch egg. Uh, my pub the Royal Oak in Swallowcliff, just off the A30 between Salisbury and Shaftesbury, serving a range of delicious home-cooked food, fine ales and wines, and with very reasonably priced rooms. Johnny Sutcliffe, who is our chef, makes an absolutely banging Scotch egg that includes things like a bit of truffle oil. So the bar is very high. It's a controversial snack, because if you remember in the COVID era, was it a meal or is it a snack? We decided it was a meal. It's got, <laughs> because it's got truffle juice in it. But it's a good size for something to serve at a bar. Bigger than a pork scratching, but it's not as big as chicken and mushroom pie. I hope that's clear. Where was this one from? Is this a gourmet scotch egg? I'd love to say it was from your pub, but again, it was from... No, I can tell it's not from my pub, because yeah. <laughs> the one in my pub is expertly cooked and the yolk is just very slightly soft still, even though it's cold. Am I talking bollocks here? Cameraman looks very bored. Is it? No. It's bollocks, yeah? <laughs> it's very hipsterish to have a runny yolk. It's very skillful as well. Very difficult to do. I'd say I'm going to put that at low elite. <whistles> low elite. It's, it's quite nice, but it's not as nice as Johnny's. Anyway, that's lunch, everybody. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why don't you try a bit? Uh, once we stop filming, I will. <laughs> do it now. Come on. Oh. You want to see this, don't you? A man from the East End who's never eaten his own national cuisine. What a tiny little nibble that was. That was like a hamster portion. Oh, mate, no. No, it's like, um, it's like, wait, no. It's like got off spam. Is that bad? Where do you stand on Twiglets? Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Snow Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.